Here's a VOD and a full breakdown kill of Dracula the Immortal King on Brutal Difficulty as a duo. So I'm using Lightning Curtain because it blocks projectiles, and if you've ever fought this fucking asshole before, you know that he summons a lot of erratic projectiles that can be hard to keep track of all at once. And so I thought I'd play a little bit of a support role as well, helping out my friend not get hit by those red chakrams especially, because they have very erratic patterns. And as you can see here, that bat phase was kind of short in comparison to how long they can go on. And I dashed a little bit too late. And you'll notice here, you don't have iframes until a certain portion of your dash is complete. So you have to slightly preempt certain moves, unlike games like Elden Ring, where your timing needs to be exact. Dracula has a couple combo moves and usually hits all of them, but the AI in this fight is very inconsistent. Whether that can help you, like in this case, or hurt you, just make sure you stay on your toes. You can dodge the vampiric curse damage with your veil with very specific timing or you can dodge it with one of the counters as well because they turn you immaterial and essentially immune for a certain duration of time and the gear i'm using in this fight is the chest piece of the dread plate armor set and the legs boots and gloves of dracula's dread armor set and i don't know what my friend is using but i believe he's min maxing his range dps with the bow likely increasing his physical attack power as much as possible and his crit chance and crit power as much as possible and I'm using the Soul Shard of Solaris while my friend is using the Soul Shard of the Monster. The Soul Shard of the Monster with the bow is extremely potent during the transition from phase two to phase three. During phase two, you really wanna focus on destroying the shards as much as possible, which is what I do here. You can always position yourself behind Dracula when he goes to do his slam. So if you're melee, you only really wanna attack him from the side or from behind so that you can easily run around to the backside of him. And another note about the soul shard jewelry is that they give you 15% additional damage dealt to vampires, which we felt was extremely necessary, especially during phase three it makes the first two phases go much more quickly but phase three it's basically a necessity during this phase with the lasers and all of the different projectiles you really want to go into one of the corners not one of these sides because it gives you a greater distance to run from the projectiles in Those falling swords are also randomly placed around you so they can lead you so you don't just want to walk in one direction that jab he does, even though most attacks in the game with a reticle on the ground can't be blocked, that one specifically can be blocked, at least by the blood skill anyways. Lightning Curtain doesn't really last a very long time, and so you need to know that it only lasts a certain amount of time, so I know it does, and then I dodge away from the final two projectiles from his slices there. And those slices, if you get hit by the first two, don't dodge the second two, because if you stand still, the second two slices will not hit you, as long as you're like a, a small distance away from him anyways. And even if you go down, you yeah, never give up, because my friend went down there and I was able to pick him up, and well, this is the successful run that we actually defeated Dracula on, so. And this is arguably the most important phase of the fight, because every villager that moves towards him will turn into a monster if they reach him and heal him and he will be healed going into phase three making it exponentially harder same thing with his heart except his heart just heals him You can see how good Bo is in combination with the soul shard of the monster there. Took care of probably 60 to 70% of the mobs. Dracula's blood that you have equipped after sucking the blood from his heart gives you a ton of damage reduction. Veil cooldown, which is your dodge, it gives you a 50% chance of a free cast for one of your spells and also increases your damage. And so you really need to adjust your playstyle in accordance with those mega buffs. 
Here you want as much burst damage as possible because you do get a stacking debuff that increases the amount of damage you take from everything Dracula does. The waves deal no damage and yet push you and displace you. You can dodge through the waves or you can be immaterial through the waves. And so you can see there whenever the free cast pops up after doing this so many times, I inherently know which skills I can use immediately and use that to my advantage here. And I use the counter there to supplement the DPS I'm dealing. And I try to stick as close to Dracula as possible because the outside swirling red does a lot of damage over time. Placing lightning curtain on top of Dracula in a horizontal fashion to the wave of projectiles supplements your DPS even further and gets rid of those red projectiles. During the third phase, you always want to stay on the move. You never want to stop moving. And I really like the veil of illusion dodge because it lets me me dodge away from Dracula and then once certain AoEs and projectiles make their way towards me then I can dodge back towards him with extra iframes and I think that's really helpful. This took us about seven hours to do longer than most Lost Ark bosses that we've ever fought before. And once you start trying it for yourself on Brutal, you'll understand. And his ultimate makes you invulnerable while it's casting, and each one of those projectiles and the AoE at the end where you smash the ground all apply leech to anything that gets hit by it. Again, this was Brutal difficulty, so it's not for the faint of heart. Almost every boss in the game is pretty difficult, but Dracula is by far the most difficult. And then here's the Throne of Darkness that you get from completing it and it is pretty badass. Yeah, good luck out there. Yeah, and be patient and take breaks and stay hydrated.